June 19, 1861, a few days before full moon. It was Wednesday and the seventh child of Doña Teodora and Francisco Mercado was born. His name was Jose Portacio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Riolanda, also known as Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal had a close relationship with his mother and with his siblings. Even though Rizal has numerous siblings, their band is unrivaled. One of his siblings is Concha. Concha is the eighth child of Doña Teodora and Francisco Mercado. Jose loved most the little Concha, who was a year younger than him. When Concha died because of sickness at the age of three in 1865, Jose mournfully wept at losing her. It was his first time to shed tears caused by love and grief. Jose Rizal's first teacher was his mother who taught him how to read, write, and recite the alphabet. He also had a private tutor, Leon Monroy, who taught him the rudiments of Latin, and Uncle Gregorio, who taught him to value education. Jose had his first school in Binyan, and Justiniano Cruz was his first teacher. In terms of academics, Jose was the most outstanding among all his classmates. After one and a half year of schooling in Binyan, Rizal went home and was sent by his father to Ateneo Municipal. He followed the advice of his brother Pashano to use the name Jose Rizal instead of Jose Mercado. He feared that Rizal might run into trouble if it was known openly that they were brothers, since Pashano was known to have links to Jose Burgos, one of the three priests executed. On June 10, 1872, Rizal took the entrance examination four months after the execution of Gomborza. Due to his excellence, on March 23, 1877, he obtained a degree Bachelor in Artes and was awarded Sobri Saliente. After finishing his fourth year at the University of Santo Tomas, Rizal left for Spain to continue his studies. Rizal left the Philippines as part of his secret pact with his brother, Pashano. He continued his study in Universidad Central de Madrid and obtained degrees in philosophy, letters, and medicine in 1884. In his journey, he was able to write a book displaying Filipino nationalism. He also did gambling together with his friends and co-writers. The biggest contributor to Rizal's venture in writing was Dr. Maximo Viola. He financed the publication of Rizal's first book, Nole Mi Tangere. On March 21, 1887, the novel was published in Berlin, Germany. 
After the publication of Nole Mitangire, Viola accompanied Rizal to Austria to finally meet Dr. Ferdinand Blumentritt. After a few trips overseas, Rizal returned to the Philippines. On July 3, 1892, he founded the La Liga Filipina and after a few days, he was arrested and was exiled in the Pitan. During his exile in the Pitan, he won a lottery with Captain Ricardo and Francisco Equilor. He brought a land, a clinic, and a school constructed in his land. Aside from helping the livelihood of the people, he also opened an informal school and taught the pupils of himself. As the main reason of why Rizal studied medicine, he did an operation in his mother's eyes. After the successful operation of Doña Theodora's eyes, Josephine Brocken brought her adopted father, Mr. George Tuffer, to Rizal for the treatment of his deteriorating eyesight. On July 30, 1896, he was granted a safe conduct pass by Governor General Ramon Blanco. While he was on his travel to Spain, he was arrested and departed back to Manila. He was tried on the charges of rebellion sedition and illegal association. On December 30, 1896, he was found guilty and was sentenced to death through a firing squad. My idolized country, for whom I most gravely pine. Dear Philippines, my last goodbye, oh, hearken. To die is to rest.